Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we are going treasure hunting. I have treasure maps for all of the spots on the map and we are going to cover them region by region. But before we do that, I would like to give a big thank you to the person or people who maintain the Fallout Wiki. That was my source for tracking down all the locations for all of the treasure maps. The descriptions are incredibly helpful. If you're interested in that, I have put a link in the description below to the wiki. First, we are going to start in the forest and there are a total of 10 treasure maps. So forest treasure map number one looks like this. You'll see a bridge right there and an X underneath the bridge. And that starts right here at Point Pleasant. It's right here at the uh, left edge of the map. This is where the uh, cultists hang out. So for this, what you wanna do from the fast travel spot, you just wanna go across the, uh, go across the bridge here. There'll be three cultists want to hurt you. So take care of the three cultists. And then once you get to the end of the bridge, you just want to turn around and go back. We're going to go underneath the bridge. That is where the uh, the first marker is going to be. You'll see the little raft right there. That'll let you know where you are. And right here, and then you start digging. And it will come up on the upper left, you know, or whenever you get items into your inventory. And however many maps you have, you just keep clicking. If you have more than one, you can keep clicking. And it'll just give you stuff for every one of your maps. Now, I'm not going to go over what you get per spot. What I will do, I'll wait until we're done with the forest and then I'll say, I'll show you everything we got from that region. So you can get an idea. Every region of the map has a different loot table. So you won't get the same stuff from the uh, treasure maps, depending on what region you're in. This is forest map number two. You can see there's a little campsite there and an X right next to a campfire. We are going to start. Uh, this is the camp Adams lookout. It is right here on the map. And you basically just want to go in this direction. You want to go southwest of the of the lookout and you are looking for a campsite. It's an unmarked campsite. And this is the campsite in question. This is where it is in the map compared to the uh, the lookout. You can actually see the lookout kind of through the trees up there. So this is where it is. And the spot is right here under the cook fire or the, uh, yeah, the cooking station. This is forest treasure map number three. You can see the X, there are some monkey bars there and there's a power plant in the background. So we are looking for a playground. So the way I like to do it, I actually fast travel to this relay tower. We're actually headed a little left of the uh, Charleston landfill, but it's easier to come at, at least for me, from up above. So we are going to start from the relay tower. There's the relay tower. And if we get the, uh, you can see right there, right on N on our compass, there is the Charleston landfill. And actually what we want to do is kind of head a little bit left of that. And you'll actually see your location as you get to the uh, top of the cliffs over here. So you can see down there, there is the landfill. It's not rendered in really well, but uh, yeah, there's the landfill. And over here, just past the cliff, you could see uh, just to the left or basically to the right of the wall there, you could see the monkey bars. That is our destination. So we'll just go over here to the, uh, the cliff and we will drop down. And right underneath the monkey bars, that is the mound we're looking for. And we will start digging. And this is the, this is the actual location on the map. This is, uh, this is where it is. This is forest treasure map number four, and it is actually one of the easiest ones to find. So you can see ahead of us, that is Anchor Farm. This is the fast travel spot. For those that don't know Anchor Farm, it's part of the Wayward quest line. So it's an early location you'll pick up on the map if you do that quest line. You can see Vault 76 right there. From the fast travel spot, we are just going to go around to the side of the house where the airplane is. And you can see there is the mound right, uh, right by the airplane. Super easy to find. And you can see the uh, the location is Anchor Farm. There's no other, uh, <laughs> if you're at Anchor Farm, you're at the location. This is Forest Treasure Map number five. And it's kind of hard to tell what we're looking at from that map. But we are starting right here, the Charleston Train Yard. You can actually see, see the sign over the entrance. It is right here by AVR Medical. And we're actually going to go down the hill, down below. And what we want is actually this train car over here, this one that's tipping on its side. And the marker, oh, now we got powering up Poseidon. Okay, with that message out of the way, here we are. This is the uh, dig spot. And this is, uh, this is where it is on the map. Now, one thing I will say about this before we get to the next location is it can be very helpful to have Fallout first, have access to a tent, because you will get a lot of things from the, from the uh, treasure maps. And it's easy to be over encumbered. I have tons of weight reduction on this character, and I still had to pop a carry weight booster after that last spot. This is forest treasure map number six, and it may be the easiest of all of the treasure maps. So here we are at the wayward. I'm sure pretty much everybody knows where that is, but here it is on the map just in case. And all you want to do is just go behind the wayward 
and you are looking for the water sensor, which is right there. And here is the dig spot. There's the water sensor. There's the dig spot. There it is on the map. We are up to forest treasure map number seven. For this one, you want to go to Widow's Perch. And that is a little Blood Eagle hangout. This is the pylon ambush site where the imposter sheep squatch event takes place. So we just fast travel to Widow's Perch. There will be four Blood Eagles here. And we're actually going to the bottom of the billboard, which you can actually see straight ahead. So there's the little the hideout for the Blood Eagles. There's their little bridge. It leads to the leads to this billboard. And the spot we want is actually right here. And this is what it looks like on the map. Next up, we have forest treasure map number eight. You could see some sort of bridge with train tracks. So from this one, we want to start at the uh, Golly Mine exit is right here on the map. And we're just going to head a little east. We're going to head towards the water over here. Now, once we get to the water, we want to stay on the north side of the bank. And the mound is right here. It's a little grass covered mound. And this is the spot on the map where it's located. This is forest treasure map number nine. And you can see the sign right there. We are in Summersville. Now, this is the fast travel spot. There's Summersville on the map. Now, th the location is actually on the other side. So we want to make our, our way all the way through town. So now we've gone through Summersville. You can see there is the, uh, there's New Gad over there. There's where the buses are, where the Raiders. I mean, basically we want to be, there's a bus there and there's a bus here. So your location is this house. You can see the yellow, just to give you some markings on, there's a house with the yellow on it. You want this house over here with the porch. And right next to the porch is the dig spot. And this is the exact spot on the map where it's located. So this is forest treasure map number 10, the last one for the forest. And we have fast traveled to Greg's Mine Supply right here on the map. And we actually don't want to go into the town. We want to go actually right down here. All right, I found the dig spot. I actually forgot where it was for a second. But uh, so there is the drainage, uh, little drainage grate over there. That's that's the mine supply. And so you want to just go down here where the uh, water is and up here on this little lip right here. It's not something you need a jetpack or anything else for. It's easy to access. There is the dig mound. And this is the exact spot on the map where it's located. So here is everything we got from all of our forest treasure maps. You can see we've got some armor pieces, uh, combat armor, robot armor. We've got uh, raider armor, a minigun. So various, all kinds of different armor pieces. Yeah, lots of robot, ar lots of robot armor, trapper armor, marine armor. So it looks like pretty much any kind of armor, as long as it's tradable, you're not going to get any kind of, you know, you're not going to get secret service, nothing like that. Nothing that's uh, gold bullion armor. And nothing that's legendary either. So we've got uh, Fat Man, number one, number two. So we do have some weapons. Let's see what other... Gal oh, a couple of Gatling lasers, three Gatling la lasers, uh, 50 cal, auto grenade launcher. So this could be a really good thing to do if you want to learn... If you just want stuff to scrap so you can learn mods, this is a really good way to go about it. Trapper, wood, sturdy leather. So pretty much everything. Light machine gun. Not a lot of, lot, not a lot of mods for a light machine gun, but still it is. Uh, it's there nonetheless. Combat sniper rifle, pump action shotgun. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Gauss rifle, railway rifle, cryolator, just kind of everything it looks like you get from this. Uh, another uh, combat shotguns, Tesla rifle, some wood wood pieces. If you're looking to uh, to roll some legendary wood since you can't craft it, quite a bit of wood. Pe wow, a lot of wood pieces. M79 grenade launcher, a lot of those. Oh, a couple of dragons. So if you want to roll some legendary dragons, there you go. Lever action rifle, laser rifle, black powder, quite a few black powder things. Not a lot of pipe so far. Plasma pistol. I mean, it's a ton of stuff. Uh, Western. And I don't, I didn't have a ton of uh, treasure maps. I don't tend to accumulate them like that. I mean, I probably didn't have more than, probably didn't have more than 15 on uh, any one location. Ultrasight, ooh, ultrasight laser pistol. That's actually kind of rare. If you want to learn mods for those, you tend to have to, to craft those and scrap those. So that's actually a good find. And then you'll get plans, a lot of plans. Nothing amazing that I've seen. This looks like it's mostly camp stuff. Grill, acoustic instruments, basketball hoop, uh, dumpster. Well, there's a cushion, so a cushion mod for Raider legs. So there's that. Uh, just more, let's see, lead line. So I'm not seeing armor. Oh, let's see, light metal legs. Okay, so armor plans as well. Metal tables, yeah. So a lot of camp stuff. Armor mod plans that I'm seeing. Single action revolver, yeah. Strengthen, wooden crate. Flare gun, noodle cup, oh, then we get miscellaneous food. And a bit of ammo. It doesn't look like there's a ton of any, yeah, not really a ton of ammo, but we get miscellaneous bits and pieces. Now it's time to move on to the next region. So the ash heap is next, and there are only two map locations for the ash heap. Location number one, it looks like there is an X on a hill. 
And we are at AMS testing site, which is right here on the map. And we basically want to go over to, you can see that tunnel over here. It is blocked off, but we are just going up to the hill and it is right. It's right here. I always have trouble seeing this. It took me forever to find this. It blends in so well, but yeah, there's the tunnel. There's the mound. And this is the exact spot on the map. Next up, we have Ash Heap treasure map number two, and it looks like it's right next to a Jeep that's right next to a cabin or a house. And we start by fast traveling to Hornwright Air Purifier site number one. It is right here next to the Rusty Pick. And from that, we just wanna go straight ahead. What we're looking for is a lake or a pond, I don't know, whatever you wanna call this. And we actually want that cabin on the far side. Sometimes when you come here, there are things shooting other things. This is also a spot for, um, it's a trap can also happen around here. Anyway, there is our Jeep. There we go, here's our mound. There's the Jeep, there's the mound. And this is the exact spot on the map. Now with the Ash Heap treasure maps, I know I had a total, of, I think I had 20 to start. I had 15 of one and five of the other, just to give you an idea, but we've got uh, heavy combat armor. So we're getting heavy versions of things, which we weren't really getting in the forest. So it is different. We are getting the armor pieces, sturdy leather, but heavy raider, heavy robot, heavy combat. Kind of the same kind of things though. Auto grenade launcher, broadsider. First time we've seen one of those. Light machine guns. Uh, don't really re need those for mods because there are only two. And one of them is the prime, which you can't learn by scrapping. So ported combat shotgun. So we're getting stuff that's modded a little bit. Uh, another railway. Cryolator. Pole hook puncturing mod. That's actually a, that's a good find if you have a pole hook. The pole hook plan and the puncturing mod are actually kind of rare. So uh, let's see, Electrofusion mod for the hatchet. So, oh, okay, so some actually good mods here for some melee weapons. Skate Blade, that's another one that's kind of rare. Automatic Tesla, so you don't have to learn how to mod that. You can just start using it right away. Another Dragon, a Syringer, Pipe Rifle. So, ooh, quite a few, well, three 10 millimeter pistols. Not quite a few, but a few. So laser, another Ultrasight laser, which is nice. And we got more plans. What do we have this time? So advertising posters, Combat Rifle 38. So some mods. Excavator mods, okay, so we've got some uh, power armor mods there. Gamma gun mods, oh, so we're getting different mods. We're getting weapon mods, armor mods. Oh, look at that, a T-51 chest piece. So we're, our first power armor mo our, our first power armor plan, which is pretty good. And then various bits of ammo and various bits of packaged food. Time to move on to the next region. Next, we are going to cover the Toxic Valley and there are four treasure maps. Toxic Valley treasure map number one doesn't really show you a whole lot. But there is an X and it look, looks like it's next to a uh, demolished structure of some sort. So we start here at Becker Farm. This is the fast travel spot. This is where Becker Farm is located on the map. And we actually want to go over in this direction. Oh, well, a little bit of rubber banding there, but I always have trouble finding this one. So this is the structure in question. Looks like it just like the same as it is on the map. And there is the mound. And here is the exact spot on the map. Next up, we have Toxic Valley treasure map number two, and you can see it is an X behind a water tower. So we have fast traveled to Clarksburg, and you can see the water tower is up there. There is Clarksburg on the map, and we just wanna head up the hill towards the water tower. And this is our mound. You can see there's the water tower. It's basically exactly in between us and Clarksburg. We're kind of one level, one level up the hill. This is the exact spot on the map. Next up, we have Toxic Valley treasure map number three, and there is a wrecked boat and some water. And we actually start from Pioneer Scout Camp, which is right here on the map. So from the fast travel spot, you actually just wanna go straight ahead and down towards the water. And you can actually see our destination right over there. There is the island with the wrecked boat. See, there's Mylurk eggs. We can just leave those alone. And right here is the dig mound. You can see we're kind of, well, not in the middle of the lake, but uh, we are definitely in the lake. And this is the exact spot on the map. And the last map for Toxic Valley, treasure map number four, you can see what looks like a craft space station and there is an X. So we have fast travel to Crater. If you don't know where it is, it is right here on the map. And we actually wanna go, well, let's see, there's a wall right there. We actually wanna be up there on the hill. Back that way a little bit. And here is the dig spot. You can see where we are in relation to the uh, to Crater. We're up a little bit just to give you a bird's eye view. I basically just went backwards and just followed this ridge along and went up a level and there it is. And this is the exact spot on the map. Now, one thing I wanna mention is that I, this is only showing stuff that's new in my inventory. 
And so something I picked up quite a bit of is water, which I didn't really notice because I already carry purified water. So it was not showing up in the new tab. So you'll also get purified water, quite a bit of it actually, in addition to all the things I've showed you. Now I did have fewer Toxic Valley maps than pretty much any of the other regions. So the haul from this will be a little bit less, but more armor, heavy armor as well, heavy leather. That's, I think that's the first time we've seen heavy leather, uh, studded, muffled, heavy uh, metal chest piece, combat, Sturdy combat anyway, Gatling gun, which is which is handy, some trapper pieces, broadsiders, kind of more of the same. Pitchfl pitchfork flamer mod, it looks like. That's a that's a good thing to find. Chinese officer electrified mod. So we're getting barbed wa walking cane mod. Ooh, it's a mouthful. Serrated. Oh, so quite a few uh melee weapon mods. More wood armor. Salvage assault trying head. Not super helpful. You can't roll these legendary yourself, so not really helpful as, as far as that goes. Another dragon. Looks like a, this is a good way to get dragons. Just treasure maps in general. Oh, and the first appearance of junk. There hasn't really been junk other than... Uh, actually, there really hasn't been junk at all. Cup, not much. Couple of watches. Some pipe weapons. Single action revolvers. So we're getting some revolvers here and there. Snub nose 44. To, oh, quite a few 10 mil pistols. More laser pistols. So this is actually a good way. Plasma pistols. So this is a good way to uh, get weapons to scrap for mods. It'll save you on resources. And now we're getting some armor mod plans. Some camp plans. Looks like weapon mod plans, uh, Raider power armor mod plans. Oh, and actually a power armor plan. So that's actually good. As far as I know, as far as maps, the only place that you can get the power, the Raider power armor is from the Toxic Valley. I don't think any other, other of the map locations will give you Raider power plans. Ultralight metal strengthened. And then we get miscellaneous food and ammunition. Next up, we have the Savage Divide and there are a total of 10 treasure maps. This is Savage Divide treasure map number one. And you can see the uh, at the bottom there by the X, there is a nuclear sign and that is the key to this one. We are at the Federal Disposal Field. It is right here on the map. Now you can't fast travel here unless you've actually owned this as a, uh, as a workshop. So the best way is just to fast travel to the scenic overlook and walk over. It's usually, uh, there's a random encounter. There's somebody fighting an Agua over there, but we don't care about that. So we have this, uh, Caution sign, and right here is the mound where we dig. And this is the exact spot on the map. This is Savage Divide treasure map number two, and you can see there's a bunch of train cars, and there is Top of the World in the background. And this is the new Appalachian Central Train Yard. There it is on the map, and we actually want to go pretty far into the train yard. So what you want to do is just follow the tracks. Now be prepared to fight some ghouls when you come here. But right before, kind of where these two trains kind of arrow in towards each other, there's a yellow tractor, there's the little building right there, there's another ghoul. But this is our dig mound. And this is the exact spot on the map. Next up is Savage Divide treasure map number three. And it's kind of hard to know what we're looking at based on that picture. But we are starting at top of the world. This is the fast travel spot. This is top of the world on the map. And we actually want to go down the hill. And what we want is ski lanes. So we want to go over towards the lifts. And the easy way to do this is just follow the ski lift down. So you want to follow it down until you get this sign that has encourageable show off lazy way. And just a reverse view, that is the top of the world right there. We just follow the ski lift straight down. And once you see the sign, you just go straight ahead over the sign and down the hill. So this is the pylon you want. And you can actually see the mound. It is right here. And this is the exact spot on the map. Next, we have Savage Divide treasure map number four. You can see there is an X next to what looks like maybe a boardwalk or some sort of wooden path. And we are at Solomon's Pond, which is right here on the map. And what you wanna do is just head in. There will be some floaters you'll have to deal with, but you can see the, uh, the boardwalk over there. That is our destination. All right, once you deal with the floaters, because they will attack you, just go onto the boardwalk and it is right here about halfway on the right. Uh, there it is. Yeah, dig mound. Uh, it's being a little fiddly, but this is... There we go. That is the dig mound. And this is the exact spot on the map. Next up, we have Savage Divide treasure map number five. And we are at Blackwater Mine, what looks like to be the middle of a war zone. This is Blackwater Mine right by the White Spring. And we actually want that billboard up there that you can barely see through the trees. So we want to go back up this way and just kind of make our way up and around to that billboard. So we basically just follow the path up and it uh, switch backs right over here and there is our destination. Got attacked by a couple of dogs, but if we just go right here, right to the front of the uh, billboard, there's the mound. You can see there is the 
mine down below. And this is the exact spot on the map. Next up is Savage Divide Treasure Map number six. You can see a couple of buildings and there is uh, maybe some sort of path, something like that. We are at the Palace of the Winding Hills right here. This is the fast travel spot. And we actually want to go onto the other side of the uh, of the buildings. Oh, one, one more thing that I noticed that I that hasn't been showing up in the new list, and that is fusion cores. I think I had 44 when I started the started recording, so I've picked up a few. I know there were some Gatling lasers in there, so probably from that. I don't know if fusion cores will just show up randomly, but uh, yeah, I have picked up a few fusion cores from the treasure maps as well. So here we are around the back of the Palace of the Winding Path, and this one took me a little bit to find. The key to this one is a broken tree. I found it. This one is uh, this one took me a lot of time the first time, and it took me a bit of time this time. So this is the view up here. So you can basically see that that little piece of building is all. But this is the tree that you want. This is the one that. Uh, so if you follow the path straight down from over there, and there is the dig spot, and this is exactly where it is on the map. This is Savage Divide Treasure Map number seven. This one uh, this one's a little bit tricky. So we start at South Mountain Lookout which is right here on the map. It's by the by foundation. And we're actually gonna have to go over some cliffs for this one. So from the lookout, we actually wanna head east and, and basically walk until we get to the edge of the cliffs. Now this one I would take really slowly. It took me a bit to find it. Uh, and if you overshoot, then you're gonna have to come back up and start over. But if you're careful, it won't be that difficult. Also having power armor could be very helpful too, because some of these drops can be kind of far. So I actually found this one. It took me, I had to drop down a couple of levels you can see there's the cliffs up there. There's the mound. The most important thing for finding this one is as you're going down, pull up the map and try it. You can see where the X is. You can see where the cliff is sticking out and just try and orient yourself. So you're going to have that view. That's the view we're looking for. And this is the exact spot on the map. Next up, we have Savage Divide treasure map number eight. And you can see there's a campsite and a motorcycle. Now, the easiest way to get here is to fast travel to Seneca Rocks and then follow the tracks down. And you'll hit a, this is a Blood Eagle checkpoint. And as you do that, you'll hit these uh, what, uh, wood, -lined, uh, wood lined path. There's actually two of them. Don't take the one on the right, take the one on the left and follow it all the way to the end and it will take you right to a campsite. Here's the campsite in question. This is the motorcycle from the map and this is the mound. And this is the exact spot on the map. Next up, we've got Savage Divide treasure map number nine. And you can't really tell anything from this map other than you see these flowers. And that is actually the key to this one. So we are at Autumn Acre Cabin. This is the fast travel spot. There's Autumn Acre Cabin on the map. And we actually, we don't want to go there. We want to go over to the, uh, just kind of skirt around it. So there is the cabin over there and we are just south of it. And you want to go to the cliff and you want to see these, this patch of, uh, I think those are carrot flowers and you just want to jump down here and the mound, the mound is right here among these, uh, this group of four carrot flowers. And this is the exact spot on the map. And we are to Savage Divide treasure map number 10, the last one for this region. And it doesn't really tell you much, but you can hear a scorch piece over there. That is because we are at a fisher site. Now it's just marked as Fisher site. It's a little bit, uh, it's near vault 79. It's east of ba Bailey family cabin. So from the fast travel spot, it's actually these trucks that we want. Okay. <laughs> I got attacked by everything. Two scorch beasts and an army of scorched. Now that that's over with, we want these, uh, these two trucks right here. And you actually want to go straight ahead from the truck. You'll see that this one is higher than that one. So from the high truck, you just want to go straight ahead and there is the mound. And there is the exact spot on the map. Now this one uh, really over encumbered me. I actually had to uh, put a tent down. So we've got, uh, what do we get from this one? We got heavy combat armor, heavy robots, a marine. So kind of the same stuff. I mean, we're getting these armor pieces kind of in every region, at least so far. Uh, bayoneted missile launcher. I think that's our first missile launcher we've seen. Uh, lots of armor, lots and lots of armor. Wow, like tons. <laughs> The, the Savage Divide looks like the place. If you're looking for armor pieces, that looks like the place to go for sure. I think that's the most. Gatling laser, there we go. Bunch of 50 cals, auto grenade launcher, mini guns. So we're getting heavier stuff, higher level stuff, Gatling guns. So if you're playing in power armor, so far this looks like the best region of the ones we've tried just because heavy guns, harpoon gun, broadsider, 
Uh, let's see. Submachine gun, pump action shotgun. We've seen that stuff before. Sniper rifle. Lots. Oh, so much armor. Tons and tons of armor here. Lots of submachine guns. Uh, Gauss. Oh, Gauss rifle. Scoped. Oh, handmade. I think that's the first handmade we've seen. We've seen a railway and cryolators before. Oh, three cryolators, though. Some, uh, let's see, some melee weapon mods. Quite a few. Actually, lots of, uh, lots of melee weapon mods. Various ones. Pull hook puncturing mod. Oh, three of those. And wood armor pieces. Yeah, this looks like a good way to get wood armor pieces. Another dragon. It seems like we're getting like one or two dragons every time. Some lever actions. That's a nice one to get. A bunch of syringers. Uh, revolvers. Western revolvers. 44. 10 mil pistols. Black powder. And what kinds of plans do we get? Let's see. More camp plans. Quite a few. Armor mod pieces, it looks like. Yeah, lots of armor mod plans. Lots of camp plans too, though. More, uh, yeah, lots of, um, let's see, various uh, gun mods or mod plans, rather. A T-45 plan. So there, there you go. You're building a set. There's a T-51 uh, T plan. Nice. Camp plans. Merv launcher for the fat man. Oh, a spear plan. So if you're looking for that, I have no idea if that's one that you can only get from maps or if you can, I don't know, because some, there are some weapon plans you cannot buy. So I don't know if that's one or not, but there you go. A couple of spear plans. And then lots of junk. This is the first area where we've come across a lot of junk. I actually had to equip a uh, carry weight perk card just for junk. And even that wasn't enough. I mean, look at how much we got. All these lockets, table knives. So lots of silver, lots of stuff like that. And then various uh, ammo bits as well. So yeah, quite a lot of stuff from the Savage Divide. All right, now we are in the mire and this is mire treasure map number one. Now this is the mound. It's not really close to a fast travel spot. This is an unmarked uh, cabin right here. Now the way I did it was I just fast traveled to Hopewell Cave and I headed due east. And it's kindly, kind of exactly between Gulper Lagoon and Hopewell Cave, halfway between. But this is the spot. And you can kind of tell where you are in the right spot too because you will be overlooking the mire. And of course, now that we're doing the mire, the, the light has turned to shit, of course. Next up, we have mire treasure map in number two. You can see some train cars that looks like going into a tunnel and an X on the ground. So we actually start from the treetops for this one. This is where the treetops are on the map. And we actually want to head west and we are looking for train tracks and we're just gonna follow those to the end of the line. So just basically, yeah, heading straight west, you'll see the tracks and we'll just follow them along until they come to an end. So here is the train tunnel and there is the train and here is the mound. The mire can be tough. I think the mire is probably the toughest spot to find these places because the light is often really bad. I mean, if I'm looking here, it's really hard to make out what's what, but there is the mound and there is the exact spot on the map. In fact, you can even see there's the tracks and there's where they end. So right at the end of the tracks, easy to find. So one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning is there are a total of five treasure maps for the mire. This is number three. You can see we're looking for a couple of holes in the road and then the X is gonna be, uh, looks like off the road a little bit. And we are starting at the Southern Bell Motel, which is right here on the map. And we are just going to head south along the road. You can see there's some water. So we have a little bridge here and it's going to be over the bridge. You can see there's the two holes uh, in the road that we're looking for. And what we want is going to be off the road on the right. I finally, I finally found the spot. This one was a little tough just because, uh, well, I did get attacked by a bunch of things, but, uh, the light makes it tough, but here we go. We have a mound. We are just past the bridge, past the, uh, the hermit crab over there. Yeah. Once you get off the bridge, basic, yeah, the easy spot, cross the bridge. And then where the railing is broken, it's directly to the side of that. And this is the exact spot on the map. Meyer treasure map number four. So it looks like it is underneath a bridge. So we start here at Crevasse Dam. This is the fast travel spot. This is where it is on the map. So for this one, we just want to go, might be an attack. Something's attacking something. Nothing to do with me. Basically for this one, you just want to go around and under the bridge and the mound should be right, right here. There's the mound under the bridge. See, there's the bridge right there. There's the bus. There's the broken spot, just like in the picture. And this is the exact spot on the map. And now we have, I, sa I saved the worst one, at least the worst one in the mire. This is probably the worst out of all of them, actually. This is mire treasure nap number five. You do not want to do this in the dark. You want to come here when it's daylight. It is very hard to find. It is so hard to find that when I was scouting this out, I put a map marker on the map because I was worried it, I wouldn't be able to find it again. But this is where the mound is. You want Excelsior model home. I think that's probably the easiest spot and head towards the power plant. 
And as far as markings go, it's really hard to say. Uh, there's just kind of trees all over. There's nothing really distinctive about it. Uh, and it just kind of blends in. So this is one. Do it during the day. I'll give you as much of you as I can. So if we're standing on the mound right there, you can't really see much. You can see that little outbuilding by the uh, power plant over there. And you can't really see anything else anywhere. So uh, one more time. This is the spot on the map. So what did we find in the mire for all of our trouble? Well, it looks like more armor pieces. Pretty much it looks like you'll find all types of armors in all of the regions, at least so far. We still have one more to go. Got a fat man and a missile launcher, so yippee for that. Auto grenade launcher, so it looks like just heavy stuff here. Heavy guns, Gatling plasmas, a couple of those. Lots of sturdy, uh, yeah, lots of, uh, let's see, broadside or flamer. So it looks like heavy guns. This is kind of the place to go for that. Salt rifles, lots of armor though. Lots and lots of armor pieces. Railway rifle, some cryolators. So oh, looks some cha chainsaw mods. We got a flamer and a long bow bar. So loose mods there. Death claw gauntlet, extra claw mod. Yeah, lots of random mod boxes. And then we have, uh, let's see, heavy sharp sledgehammer mod. That's actually a plan. And the spiked rocket heavy mod and spiked walking cane mod. That's a mod box. Okay, those are not plans. Those are mods. These are all just mod boxes. What am I thinking? They're not plans. Plans will show up as plans. Crossbow. I think that's the first time we've seen crossbows. Uh, you're not going to get anything for scrapping those, though. Laser pistols. That's a good thing to get to scrap for mods. Same with plasma pistols as well. Pipe. Uh, there's a few pipes. Haven't really seen a ton of pipes in any of the region, which is kind of surprising. More laser pistols or more laser rifles. It's all the same, though. A lot of 44 pistols, a lot of 10 mil pistols. Well, a lot of 10 mil pistols. More lasers. So yeah, it looks like uh, the Meyer's the place to go for, if you want laser weapons to scrap for mods, that looks like the place to go. Same with plasma too. Ultrasight laser, a couple of those, that's good. And we have more camp plans and uh, miscellaneous weapon mod plans and armor mod plans. Nothing amazing that I'm seeing. A lot of, yep, lots of, uh, yeah, lots of the same stuff. Camp plans, a lot of ton of armor mod plans though. No power armor, at least not peace plans. We have power armor mod plans, but no power armor peace plans. And then uh, more junk. So another region where you can get junk and various bits of ammo. Oh, and also I have picked up along the way and I don't know where they came from, but I had to uh, kind of trim down my weight a bit and I picked up a ton of uh, psycho tats and psycho buff from somewhere. So one of the regions of the maps gave me uh, a lot of drugs and we are on to the Cranberry Bog. There are a total of four maps for that region. Cranberry Bog treasure map number one. Looks like we have a bridge and we've got an X underneath the bridge. So we are starting from Appalachian Antiques. It is right here on the map. And we are going to head east and we are looking for that trailer. You can actually see it overhead or not overhead, straight ahead. There is a uh, horse trailer full of giddy up butter, buttercups or they've spilled out of it or whatever. But uh, yeah, this is what we're looking for. We actually want to go off of the path. And once we're under the bridge, this is where the mound is, where we dig. And this is the exact spot on the map. Next up, we have Cranberry Bog treasure map number two, and it's also underneath the bridge. So over this one, we start at the Ranger Lookout. Right here, Ranger District Office, there's Lookout. And from the fast travel spot, we actually turn around and we head over in this direction. First, we'll have to deal with these Blood Eagles, otherwise they're just going to shoot at us. All right, now that we've dealt with the Blood Eagles, basically just want to go right here to this bridge. And what we're looking for is a mound that is right here under the bridge. And this is the exact spot on the map. Next up, we have Cranberry Bog treasure map number three. And you can see there is an X right by a tree. And you can hear there's some fighting going on as well. We are starting from the overgrown Sundew Grove. This is the fast travel spot. There's over, overgrown Sundew Grove. There's a Fisher Sight Prime as a point of reference. And we actually want to be on the other side of the grove and we're just going to go around it. That way we don't have to fight a bunch of stuff. So now we're on the other side of the grove and what we're actually looking for, there is a little pond and there's this tree you can see quite a bit ahead. It looks like a big, a big dead tree straight ahead. And that is our destination. You can see there is a little bit of pond here. And the dig spot is right, right here. This is the dig spot right here. So there's the tree, there's a little cooler, there is the Sundew Grove due east of us now. And this is the exact spot on the map. And this is the very last treasure map, Cranberry Bog number four. Now from this one, we are starting at Pylon V13, which is right here. There is abandoned bog town. And we're actually going to go to the pylon and then to the second pylon past it. 
So heading towards V13, we'll have a couple of anglers to deal with or whatever. This time it's anglers, it could be a variety of things. So once you hit pylon V13, you wanna go to the second pylon past it. So there's one and there is number two, that's what we want. And the dig spot is right here at the base of this pylon. Just as a point of reference, there's Bogtown, there's that. And this is the exact spot on the map. All right, let's see what our haul from the Cranberry Bog is. So it looks like more armor pieces. So armor kind of comes from everywhere. Fat Man, Missile Launcher, Gatling Laser. So more heavy stuff, uh, heavy gun type stuff. 50 cal machine gun, broadsider, uh, flamer. I didn't have a ton of plans, so I don't expect a ton of stuff. Uh, let's see, railway rifle, chainsaw flamer. So more uh, mod plans, heated coil for the power fist, uh, handmade, another handmade. I think that's only the second handmade we got. So not a lot of those, more wood pieces. So definitely treasure maps are a good source of wood pieces. Dragon, lever action, couple of black powders. So nothing we really haven't seen before so far. Automatic plasma, more laser rifles. So it looks like the Meyer Cranberry Bog, good place for laser. And pla yeah, a lot of lasers and some plasma. Let's see, we've got camp plans. Uh, nothing amazing there. Marine legs. Okay, that's a good uh, that's a good plan to get. More camp plan. Oh, super sledge plan. That's a good one. T fifty one chest. T fifty one right arm. Then we have some more junk and various bits of ammo. And there you have it. All the treasure map locations and the kinds of things you can expect to find when you're using treasure maps. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.